Let me now introduce our first speaker. Chris O'Connor is the general manager for the Internet of Things at IBM. He is also an active member of our IoT Community Advisory Board. His presentation today is entitled, Driving Exceptional Outcomes with the Internet of Things, something I can safely say we all would like to do. So let me welcome Chris. So with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take us through some of the discussion points today that I'd like to cover around the Internet of Things. Uh, most importantly, what I'd like to do today is just impart on where the industry is and where the offerings are and make sure that, uh, that, that, that we all see kind of the vision of what's in front of us and the types of things that we can get done uh, using IoT. It's, um, it's really an exciting time in the industry. It's, uh, it's a great time in the industry, to be blunt. Um, it's a time of change and a time of, uh, of opportunity. Uh, and what it says is that all of us uh, have really a, a new adventure in front of us. So just kind of think about the transformation that's in front of us, and it is changing the world around us. Literally, uh, as we sit here and as we speak, uh, compute power is being embedded in everything. Uh, that provides uh, the opportunity to connect the physical world, as you guys all know, uh, and, and that provides really an excellent opportunity to progress the art of automation. Trillions and trillions of, 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 of devices getting you know, connected over, over the long haul, billions in the short haul. Right? And if you kind of think about what, what is happening, you think about it in very simple terms. There is a shift of economic money that is taking place to devices that are automated in these ways. That means that consumer buying habits and business buying habits are going to change. Folks like IDC, other industry analysts, all very respectable places and people uh, would say that uh, most of the Internet of, of Things spend is going to be spent on B2B cases, building out that infrastructure where you have that connected supply chain, where you have that improvement in manufacturing, where you have that more safe environment for your workers to work in using sensors and things along those lines. And there will be a 20% that we'll all see in our homes and our houses, which kind of will make the front pages. But it's that 80% that we think provides the huge opportunity back end of how businesses actually work together and fix, how they actually talk to their clients better, and how they actually create new business models that go along with that at the same time. The three reasons that companies are, are, are working so hard on the Internet of Things is, is, to, is to, one, improve operations. Okay, that's cool. But, but if you keep moving, you also think about transforming your business model. What's the third area? Most of the people we know that make devices, that make physical devices, are not usually in touch with the end consumer the way they'd like to be. Ah, what's the first step of getting IT into your business strategy? Uh, so you've got to create a, a monetary driver for it to happen. Uh, it won't happen just because it's cool, and it won't happen in your business just because other people are doing it. You, you need to be able to show a return on the investment that will take place by taking whatever device you have and actually building the capability in or, or building the connectivity in the business use case that goes with it. You could own your IoT initiative in your organization since there are so many different aspects of a successful implementation. Do you recommend an IoT project management office? It's a, it's a great discussion. Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do with IoT. Uh, if, if you are in a service business where you are putting together sets of equipment and then servicing uh, the equipment that's around it, I, I would recommend that you, um, that, that you put it in with the line of business that's responsible for maintenance and repair and for, for ownership of that plant and those materials. Next question. Today there are over 300 different IoT platforms. Do you, who, do you see, who do you see consolidation happening and what will decide the winners and losers? Um, 
There is there is a lot of consolidation taking place today. Uh, uh, there evidence uh, exists in a lot of forms that the consolidation is is accelerating. Uh, when you think about what it means to go long term uh, as an IoT platform, uh, it, it kind of dictates a set of things that you want to think about. Um, how do you build an IoT budget to allow this program to be funded more effective? When you talk about an IoT budget, you've got to kind of go look at the, the three drivers that I talked to you about for, for business. Uh, and so this question around how do you build an IoT budget, uh, when we work with clients, we, we go at that first thing I described, which is, which is the maintenance break fix life cycle. Often and many times you can fund an entire IoT program just off of the money saved by doing better break fix maintenance. Secondarily, you can change your business models and do better warranty, better cost, better service level agreements off the devices you make, and often that is a way to get this funded as well. The, the third way is about client contact and client customer interaction. It's possible to sell new services using IoT data streams to, to third parties that have access to your clients. It's possible you'll talk to new clients that you never could talk to before, and out of that you'll generate new cash flow at the same time. So, so you sit down with your pencil out, look at those three value propositions to start with, maybe bring in somebody that can help you talk and think about it. Um, usually we help clients think about this expansively and in detail, then you can build a budget for how to self-fund uh, IoT, and, and typically you have no problem getting these things to be uh, an, an adequate uh, or more than adequate return on investment. Uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to pick another question here. IoT is being used for many more critical requirements, particularly healthcare. I've seen very little around de-risking and testing these implementations. Do you, do you have a view on how to do this? Um, each device, hi, I do have a view, uh, and, and I think that the Internet of Things starts from a common technology core of chips and devices and connectivities and, 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 and information and cloud and analytics all strung together. However, each of those then gets applied into the domain. You could use that same technology for connecting oil and gas platform. You could use it to connect a medical device. How can IoT be deployed in a middle market organization? How does it differentiate from deploying in a Fortune 1000 organization? What are the resources for learning best practices? Um, all depends on whether you're a service organization or whether you're, you're building something. Uh, IoT, if you're building something, is, is an investment in understanding on how to either add or how to complete in your engineering diagrams how that device becomes an Internet of Things device. And, and there are basically two approaches we see getting taken place. One is designed integrally in, so the next time that device is revved, its bill of materials includes the Internet of Things capabilities. We see also people running around with third party, with boards or with boxes or with bolt-ons that they can slip inside of an existing device. That could be a car or an elevator or something that has a cowling. And, and you could slide this Internet of Things device in there. You could hook it up to the power source, and it might tell you things like temperature and heat and vibration and variation. And, and you can do that inside of any size organization with the chips and capabilities that are out there. I think if you go out there and take a look with vendors like Intel and Texas Instruments and, uh, and, uh, and Samsung and, and others have, uh, you know, or Raspberry Pi, you, know, you can imagine how to create something that for a size organization uh, or any size organization could give you benefit and basic data uh, integrity. The cost of individual connections for small organizations is not expensive. Uh, nearly all the vendors and IoT platforms have very scalable prices and often they have a free trial period or an extended trial period that lets you connect and, and run that device for some period of time.